Okay, 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 I know what you're thinking. Hey Kevin EDF, why do you love to talk about nerfs and balance changes? Why you hate fun, bruh? Are you stupid? Well, the short answer is yes, but let me explain. Um, I've had a lot of comments in my videos ever since I started this channel disliking my desire for nerfing weapons or classes or balance changes, and I figured I should make a video explaining a little bit about my perspective. Um, as you probably know by now, I feel that the Wing Diver and the Fencer and Air Raider are too strong on Inferno, as well as Wing Diver and Fencer I feel are too fast of a class. Also, if you've seen my class reviews, you would know that I feel a lot of the weapons are either too strong or too weak. So as you probably know by now, I love EDF. I love EDF 4, one of my favorite games, and I love EDF 5, which I feel those two are the strongest entries in the series. But there is one glaring fault in EDF 4, in my opinion. Uh, that being that there were only a handful of weapons that were viable for Inferno difficulty for each class. Um, the Air Raider didn't struggle concerning this as much, but Ranger, Wing Diver, and Fencer all did. On Inferno, Ranger would primarily have to take the AF-100 machine gun to defend himself close range, and either a Stringer sniper rifle or two Lysanders on certain missions. Uh, Fencer had to use the Javelin catapult because of the movement options, of course, and primarily you would see the Blast Hole Spear as a second weapon because of its ridiculous range and damage. And then you might see some hammers as well as the weapon. And last of all, Wing Diver would primarily have to take the Master of Your Thrust because it was so strong, no reload time. And then the Idun or the Monster Sniper Rifle. Uh, th the classes did have a few other options, but not too many really. And this made for a limited number of approaches of tackling a mission. Now fast forward to Earth Defense Force 5 and take a look at the Ranger's machine gun column or his shotgun column. These columns are very balanced in their weapon stats, um, and there are multiple options of machine guns or shotguns to take into missions, and I don't feel this balance has made the game boring, but rather a lot more interesting. You can take a large magazine machine gun, you can take the small magazine one, or the long range one, or the one that's closer range, or the sticky bomb one, and you won't be hindering yourself by doing so, even at the highest level. Uh, there are three or four different shotgun types you could take in the battle as well, and they're all viable. I like this because sometimes one play style can get boring, and having the option to change to a different weapon and still be able to compete, I think makes the game a lot more interesting, and this is why I love to have balance in a game. Sure, they're always going to be the best weapons or the best weapon type for a certain situation, but there are other options to take as well, and you don't feel like you're forced into taking a certain weapon. So, I think balance changes makes a lot more sense, but what about nerfs? Why do I love nerfs so badly, or why do I want to nerf so badly in Earth Defense Force 5? First of all, let's talk briefly about the early Earth Defense Force games, such as EDF 2017 on the Xbox 360. Um, in that game, there was only one class in, in uh, 2017, and that was the Ranger class, and there were five difficulties back then. And as you could imagine, with only the Ranger class on Inferno, it was quite a challenge because of his lack of mobility. Inferno was always an intimidating challenge, and then Earth Defense Force 2025 came out, and this game also was pretty challenging on Inferno. Even though they added the Wing Diver and Fencer class to the game, the Wing Diver did not have a dash, and the Fencer was quick, but not quick enough to outrun certain enemy types such as Gold Ants or Queen Wasps or Queen Ants. I mean, they were still intimidating to him. Um, there were some strong weapons in EDF-4, but nothing close to EDF-5's Air Raider class or the DLC weapons for Wing Diver, or the DLC weapons in general. Because of this challenge in EDF-4, in order to complete some of the infernal missions, you needed a coordinated group that had to, had to implement a strategy, and the feeling of working together as a team and clutching that last second revive or the last second boss kill was very thrilling. I understand now everybody wants a very challenging gameplay experience, however that would be why there is the ability to remove limits on hardest difficulty or lower. I've seen a lot of room names in, that say no mods in Earth Defense Force 5, but I would argue that it can f perhaps feel like playing with mods when you have 120,000 damage per second rapier in the game for Wing Diver, or even the 60k per second rapier, or the Phobos, weapons such as these. Um, missions such as the DLC mission with the four hives and the two pillars are supposed to make you feel intimidated and threatened. However, when you can kill the hive on Inferno with the online with four people in the room with, the, with that rapier in a matter of few seconds, it really cheapens the intimidation of a mission such as that, or the ability to one-shot the Hive with the Tempest Missile. I fear that since they decided to include weapons with the DLC packs, they felt they had to make them so strong to encourage people purchasing the packs, but I suppose even without these DLC weapons, I still feel that the increased weapon stats of Earth Defense Force 5 compared to Earth Defense Force 4 are a huge leap. 
This would mainly be because they also increase the speed of the Wing Diver class and the Fencer class by three or four times compared to EDF-4. And with the addition of increasing damage of all their weapons, this made a huge power shift. And by doing so, this made the always intimidating Inferno difficulty a lot simpler. I do enjoy the changes to the classes, however I would like them to adjust the enemies to be able to compete with this movement option they've given the classes. My main point is this. There are five different difficulties in the game, and hard feels similar to Inferno, and sometimes hard feels more challenging than Inferno because of the lack of weapons you have on hard difficulty. And in addition of the, the Inferno items giving you more dashes or more boosts, which also makes Inferno uh, simpler than hard, then the only option to make Inferno challenging is to make the Inferno weapons do not do as much damage and make it so that it takes a little bit longer to kill the enemies and therefore have to deal with the different attack types of the enemies. This would also encourage the necessity to learn the mechanics of a mission in order to complete it. Um, currently there are a lot of missions you can pull the entire map and because of the speed of the class, namely the Wing Diver and Fencer, you don't have to learn the mechanics, you can just kite them around the outside of the map and kill them when you're ready to. I personally felt that EDF4 captured Inferno difficulty very well, and even though you had an advantage taking the Wing Diver or the Fencer over a Ranger, you still had to deal with the mission mechanics, and you still had hordes of enemies at your feet if you made a bad pull. Now, this is why I get frustrated at times with Earth Defense Force 5, and hope in EDF6 they adjust the difficulty more in line with EDF4. And for those who like a more laid-back experience, then the hard difficulty, or the hardest difficulty with limits off is an option. But for those who like to work together as a group and think of strategies and have those barely escaping or barely completing a mission, then the Inferno difficulty will be for them. Once again, I felt Earth Defense Force 4 captured it perfectly, and they, if they can somehow keep the movement options of the classes, like they are in EDF 5, and yet somehow adjust the enemies to make them a challenge like in EDF 4, I'd be very happy. But in order to do that, there's going to have to be a nerf, whether it be reducing the speed or damage of the classes, or increasing the health or damage or speed of the enemies, which would still be a nerf in some form. I don't want weak weapons, but I want balanced weapons where you aren't hindering yourself to taking a variety into battle, and also strong enough weapons to compete on Inferno, but not to where you feel like another version of hard, just with higher stats. I would like very much for Inferno to feel very distinct and very intimidating, like, like it used to in the early, very early EDFs. Um, as always, I'm interested in what you think, so please leave your views in the comment section below as I do read all the comments, and uh, don't forget. Edith doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And if you're interested in ways to support this channel, please consider hitting the join button, which is next to the subscribe button, or watching a few ads or sharing the channel with someone that does help financially. It's very much appreciated. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.